Hi, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Lectus Training on Sunday Readings. Today we'll prepare for the readings of February 6, the fifth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our reference book say that the first reading is a narrative. Tell the story, changing voices and emotions for each character. The narrator, Isaiah, the seraphim, and the Lord. Pause here or before here to imagine the powerful vision you will narrate. Build intensity when you read this to create a textured delivery. Speak this with Isaiah's awe and gratitude for the merciful initiative of God. Don't rush here. Recovering from the terror of encountering God, Isaiah responds with muted confidence. Remember when the Lord called you to be a proclaimer of the word and imagine yourself saying these words. Say, Uzziah, or Uzziah, Uzziah, or Uzziah. First reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on a high and lofty throne, with a train of his garment filling the temple. Seraphim were stationed above. They cried one to the other, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. All the earth is filled with his glory. At the sound of that cry, the frame of the door shook, and the house was filled with smoke. Then I said, Oh, it's me, I am doomed, for I am a man of unclean lips, living among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, holding an ember that he had taken with tongs from the altar. He touched my mouth with it and said, See, now that this has touched your lips, your wickedness is removed, your sin purged. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Here I am, I said. Send me. The word of the Lord. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. All the kings of the earth shall give thanks to you, O Lord when they hear the words of your mouth, and they shall sing of the ways of the Lord, 
Great is the glory of the Lord. In the sight of the angels I will sing your praises, Lord. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. In the sight of the angels I will sing your praises, Lord. The second reading is long, but be careful not to breathe through it. You are telling the people the basic truths of our faith, so give this due emphasis. Stress the if clause and the unless clause. Here are the basic tenets of our faith. Build energy as you go. Bolster faith by using these events. Stress and contrast, James, all, and me. Here, speak with confidence, emphasizing God's mercy. And here, make eye contact, speak with conviction here. This is the long form. If you are asked to read the shorter form, it begins here without four, as you will see here. Then it ends here. These are omitted and the shorter form ends here. This is the full text of the shorter form. Say Cephas, Cephas, second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I am reminding you, brothers and sisters, of the gospel I preached to you, which you indeed received, and in which you also stand. Through it you are also being saved, if you hold fast to the word I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. For I handed on to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than five hundred brothers at once, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. After that, he appeared to James, then to all the apostles, Last of all, as to one born abnormally, he appeared to me. For I am the least of the apostles, not fit to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace to me has not been ineffective. Indeed, I have toiled harder than all of them. Not I, however, but the grace of God that is with me. Therefore, whether it be I or they, so we preach, and so you believed. The Word of the Lord Alleluia, Alleluia. 
come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. Alleluia, alleluia. That's it, brothers and sisters. Thank you. Join me again next week for the readings of February 13, the sixth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Until then, goodbye and God bless you all. Again, thank you.